Chair. <clears throat> I've got a couple of questions on, um, I think probably to Mr Donnelly if he's here, on the national contact point. Good day. Um, I've got a couple of questions that specifically, can you just give us a bit of a background, because it's probably three years since I've asked questions relating to the national contact point. Can you just um, update the committee and update myself specifically on resources, staffing, capacity, just a, a very brief overview of the work of that office, if you could. So, Senator, as you're aware, um, the national contact point uh, for the OECD guidelines for multinational enterprises is um, a role that, the, that um, I hold under um, the guidelines which the Australian Government has signed up to um, with the OECD yep. on behalf of multinational enterprises uh, operating in uh, the countries around the 42 countries that uh, adhere to the, uh, the OECD guidelines. Yep. Um, and that role is administered from within the Foreign Investment and Trade Policy Division. Yep. Um, in addition to myself um, in the ANCP um, role as, as part of a, a range of different duties that, uh, that I undertake, um, there are two other members of the division who um, service the ANCP role part-time. Okay. Um, Actually, I suspect that might be more resourcing than last time I asked. I think that might have stepped up a bit. And are you full time in that role, or is it more no, so ad it's, hoc? It's quite a, quite a small component of, yep. of, a, of a pretty uh, large job. I, the, as in the national co contact point is a small component of a larger yes. job? OK. Um, <clears throat> is Brazil, presumably, is a signed up member? Um, I'm not entirely sure where the Brazil is. Okay, actually, Senator, off the top of my head, I'd need to, I need to confirm have, that. I could probably have found that out myself as well. Um, does a country have to be? I, I want to ask you some questions about Samarco. Sorry, maybe just for context, because mm -hmm. that's uh, an instance where it's possible that your office could could provide a bit of <clears throat> assistance, depending on the, how that situation rolls out. Does a country have to be a signatory for um, people to avail themselves of your office? If, if the impact area is within that country? Uh, no, so if okay. uh, in the case of that particular instance, because the, the multinational involved is an Australian multinational, um, they're subject to the Then we're signed up, okay. Um, has your attention or capacity, or, or those of the other two staffers who you work with, been engaged in the, in the, the disaster in Brazil? Uh, Senator, I'm certainly aware of it. Um, from uh, general reading, uh, we don't generally, uh, the, the guidelines require the contact point to um, maintain confidentiality until final decisions are made in the case where, where we are involved. So are you going to find it difficult to tell me whether you even are engaged or aren't? That's complicated. <coughs> um, I might, it's possible then, um, Senator McGrath, I might have to put some of these through you if Mr Donnelly is unable to provide. So Mr Donnelly, if you could just um, say yes or no. If you like. <laughs> yep. Rather than nod, because yep. the hand side doesn't pick up a nod. Yeah. Certainly. You could put them on notice. I'm trying to work out, well, I could put them on notice, but if Mr Donnelly is unable to tell me anything, I'd just rather find yep. it out now rather than waiting six weeks. Uh, so Senator, um, it's fair to say that the, ro the role of the contact point um, is usually uh, in a case where um, individuals from uh, who are affected by a particular set of circumstances um, are aggrieved at the uh, at the progress or, or more often lack of progress yeah. uh, in relation to actions taken by um, a multinational in respect of their particular circumstances. I would have thought this situation. And again, I'm going to be a bit careful about pushing you on specifics if you're not able to speak of them, but this is one of the worst disasters of its kind that I think I've ever come across. It's destroyed a river, it's reached the Atlantic Ocean, it's depopulated an area, it's destroyed the regional economy. Well, there's plenty of disasters we can talk about. Over yeah, this the is one particular time. one that I'm bringing up now. Right. So have, have your office been approached by individuals impacted directly by that event? Senator, I'd need to take that on notice. Okay. Um, and this is where I thought it might, if, if it gets political, I'm happy for you to take this on, Senator McGrath. What kind of pressure are you or your office or anybody at the desk who cares to answer putting on BHP, which has created this extraordinary disaster? 
So I don't, I don't think we can answer that question, Senator. Mm -hmm. I mean, it goes to whether or not we've actually had an approach, and I think as Mr Donnelly made clear, we, we can't answer that. We're happy to take it on notice. And any of the associated things that you may be able to comment on? That's right. <clears throat> I'll put a few more specific things to you and we'll see how we go. I understand that you can only encourage rather than ensure because this is compliance within a voluntary framework. So I'm reasonably aware of the framework with, yep, within that, which that's correct, you yeah. operate. So what I'm still seeking, what kind of encouragement, if I could put it that way, is the government directing toward BHP? Uh, Senator, doesn't that fall into the same category as the, your last question? Well, it might do. Well, it does. Could I put I this mean. to you, maybe Senator McGrath, because it might be outside the range of Mr Donnelly's, like his remit. Is the Australian government doing anything at all to encourage a resolution between BHP and the, and the Brazilian authorities? I think it's best I take that on notice. OK. Um, I'm going to put a couple of questions through DREP tomorrow. It might be a better place to answer this. But if you have any information, I'd appreciate it. Are you aware of whether or not BHP is abiding by DRET's leading practice sustainable development program for the mining industry? Senator, I need to take it on notice. OK, if you could, I'd appreciate it. And again, I will follow that up tomorrow. <clears throat> um, is it the policy of the Australian government, again, I think properly through you, Senator McGar, to support BHP funds being frozen in Brazil? Look, I think it's best I take that on notice. OK. Um, and anything at all that you can uh, ascertain for us on details of resettlement plans and the establishment of an independent monitoring mechanism? I think I, that should be placed on notice also. Mm. OK, as you wish. Um, well, I'm not sure that... I don't mm. think we can yeah. even answer that. No, this right. process yeah. is, is completely we, opaque. I, I don't think they've been able to we, tell well, me no, no, I, 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 That's right, but uh, keep going. Keep, keep no, no, going. I, I'm not sure there's any point. Right. If, if well, you've been no, engaged... No, you put them on notice, that's fine. And but if, uh, if you've been engaged by either Brazilian authorities or local <sighs> residents who are local to that area, mm. then the shutters come down and you won't be able to tell me a single thing. Is that generally well, the, is well, that the summary? Well, you, you, you're now telling the officers what they can and can't do. No, no, that was a job. question. That was a well, question. Can you tell me any single thing at all about what you're actually doing? So the... the um, where a complaint is made under the guidelines, um, there is an expectation of, of confidentiality on behalf of the, yeah. the national contact point. I guess I'm not after names mm -hmm. and addresses, but it's a bit of a waste of your time even calling you for estimates if you can't tell well, us Senator, about what you do. Senator, we, you've we now verbally the officer. Uh, he's just told you that just like uh, the tax office, they can't discuss anything that they've got under review. I think that's thoroughly reasonable. You put a lot of questions on notice. I'm sure you'll be very interested, as I will be, in the responses. All done?